Eight pounder right back with Sheamus on his shoulders. Sheamus with a running knee. Oh, that may have broken his jaw. Falls into the cover, hook of the leg, and Reed kicks at it too. What impact by Sheamus. I was watching some archery the other day in the Olympics, and the precision they had with the arrow was the precision that Sheamus had with his patella, which is also known as his knee kick. On the button of Big Brunson Reed. And now look at it. Lift the 330 pounder up on his shoulders. Reed, though, lands back on his feet. Now some clubbing blows to the back of the neck. The official Chad Patton scoops out of the way as Sheamus drives Reed back across the ring. I thought Big Brunson Reed was knocked out. The fact that he's still fighting on is incredible, and Sheamus gets himself up to the top rope again. Sheamus has got to roll through. Bronson Reed lifts him up and drives him down with a Death Valley driver. Cover now. Hook of the leg on Sheamus for the victory and a kick out. Reed spiking Sheamus, but Sheamus able to stay in it. All the people here in Minnesota thought that was going to be three. Sheamus kicks out. And now dragging Sheamus toward the corner. The big man going to head up to the top rope. Bronson Reed, 330 pounds. Up to see a flying bus here, folks. Sheamus, though, back to his feet, not allowing Reed to make it to the top. An actual minivan, though. You said bus, but when you see him in person, he is a minivan of a human. So powerful. Sheamus now. Can Sheamus actually get Reed oh, wow. up on his shoulders in for position from the second rope? Reed way up high. Sheamus with white noise. Cover for the win. Reed kicks out. Wow, that was incredible. These Celtic warrior workouts obviously working. White noise. To 360 pound plus Big Brunson Reed. And Sheamus cannot believe that Reed was able to kick out as this match continues here tonight on Sci Fi. And of course, next Monday night, the Raw after SummerSlam, live from Baltimore, Maryland on Sci Fi as well. Always dreamt of being on Sci Fi. Hopefully, an alien will show up. Sheamus. Measuring his man, he's got Reed in position for the 10th beats of the Baron. Actually, 16 before being separated by Chad Patton. Reed just caught up in the ropes and. Sheamus. was trying to get him unhooked. Dunn attacked. Sheamus is out. Shillelagh too. The irony, obviously, from Pete Dunn. Tsunami! Reed with the win. Everywhere. He attacked Rick Williams last week on NXT. Tonight he once again goes after Sheamus, taking out his former Brady Brute buddy with a shillelagh. And then shrugged his way through Big Brunson Reed's tsunami. When asked about his situation with Sheamus, Pete Dunn would only say, I'm not here to prop people up, I'm here to take people out. Still has not explained the bad blood with a Celtic warrior, Sheamus. But that's a big win for Big Ross's Reed. Certainly is, and he doesn't mind that Pete Dunn popped up with a shillelagh and whacked an Irish man in the head.
He got a dub, and he's excited about it. But what's up with Pete Dunne? Sheamus doesn't deserve any. Well, nonetheless, we head toward Cleveland Saturday, SummerSlam, where the World Heavyweight Championship is going to be on the line. The champ, Damian Priest, with a busy weekend. It all starts 